show me the man, and I'll show you the crime. Laventi Beria, Stalin's architect of terror. Remember that. So cash strap borrowers are being enticed into using the home equity they accumulated as an ATM. So with today's higher mortgage interest rates, taking out uh, these first line cash out refinance loans will damage, uh, in my opinion, your long term financial health. Cash strap homeowners right now struggling to cope with high inflation, lagging wage growth. You know, they're being enticed. They're panicked by cash out refinance offers. Uh, you know, of easy access to their home equity, which, you know, increased dramatically during the pandemic, as we all remember. Although at one time, such cash out refinance was relatively low cost uh, because the new uh, rate was less, you know, than they are right now. But people back then, from my research as I did, they were using that uh, money to live on, to go on vacations. You know, so with the current rate environments double from what they were, uh, you know, re refinancing means, you know, subs you know, substituting a new higher interest rate that can be, you know, two to four percentage points above one's existing current rate. That can have a serious, and many people don't break down the numbers, a serious long-term repercussions, you know, for the financial health of, you know, vulnerable um, borrowers right now. So, for example, you know, the typical cash out refinance completed in late 2022 by a borrower, let's just kind of look at the low end, with an FHA or VA mortgage, you know, provided about 36000 in cash, but would add about 42000 additional, um, you know, interest on the existing mortgage balance over the first seven years. And that's not including interest on the new cash itself, you know, or the closing cost on the new loan. A lot of people don't break it down the micro and look at what's involved in these loans. So in the current uh, interest rate environment, second lien home equity loans you know, I think our far better way to take out cash from home equity, you know, second lien home equity loans were designed to enable homeowners to convert home equity into cash without, uh, you know, having to refinance the entire mortgage. So even though the interest rate on the new cash is, you know, higher with a home equity loan than with a cash out refinance, the higher interest rate applies only to the new cash, which is good. So kind of look at this deeper, but you're seeing this come up again. And, uh, you know, risky loans were a key player, as we all remember, in the lead up to the 2008 housing crisis. And according to new research uh, brief that I was looking at from the American Enterprise uh, Institute, the AEI, and uh, the Center uh, for Responsible Lending, the CRL, a lot of these things were put in place after 2008, some of these things. Some are just window dressing and never put on, you know, you know, I think you should be wary of cash out refinance mortgages, even those backed by the government, because we all know what the government's doing right now, because using your home as an ATM can trap borrowers and worsen your current financial stability for years to come. So, you know, these loans, which can sometimes target lower income borrowers of color, uh, but it's across the spectrum from what I'm looking at when I break down the demographics of states. And I can break it down that way and look at where a lot of these cash out refinances are occurring, uh, you know, in the, in the high interest rate environment. And, you know, it can lock homeowners into higher monthly payments, rising concerns that the government guarantee policies are promoting irresponsible lending to vulnerable parties. Uh, so borrowers with, you know, credit scores below, let's say, 660, you know, they constitute an increased share of the FHA side and VA cash out refinance borrowers. That's according to AEI and CRL cash out refinancing today's higher, you know, rate mortgage uh, market. You know, bottom line is it can make borrowers worse off financially due to the fact that tens of thousands of extra interest will be tracked. Uh, you know, it's going to be just rubber stamped under the original mortgage. And you don't really see it till you see those monthly payments come in. And if you're not looking at the back end. So many lenders offer the cash out refinance loans to give consumers a quick infusion of cash, you know, to consolidate and pay off debt, meant everyday living expenses and make repairs. Many people are using it for vacations. They want to buy a new car. And you're seeing the higher end segment too do cash out refinances. So, you know, I think, you know, cash out refinancing offers, including for, you know, government guaranteed mortgages may pose 
substantial risk to borrowers, uh, for example, including monthly payments up to 37% higher from refinancing the old mortgage into a higher rate loan. Uh, you're looking at tens of thousands of dollars of additional interest paid over typical mortgage uh, holding period. And that's based on a 30-year fixed rate loan at 6.5%. Uh, you know, today's versus, let's say, 3% to 4.5% in 2015. I mean, you look at a 15-year loan compared to a 30 loan, this is savings that you'll save. You know, it's incredible. So consumers also should have access to clear and reliable information. A lot of people don't these days about the financial consequences of cash out refinancing. That's where your real estate professional comes in, your accountant. Uh, you know, and a lot of people are just getting misinformation out there. I think one major downside of doing a cash out refinance is that you may only need to access, let's say, a smaller amount of the cash, yet you'll be forced to refinance your entire mortgage. So before you go that route, like I said, you may want to consider a home equity loan instead. So when you look at the, you know, the broader availability of HELOCs, at risk based market interest rates, uh, you know, you know, we'll save consumers, you'll save some money and preserve the equity while opening up a new line of business for financial, uh, you know, security. And, uh, but, you know, a lot of people are using those HELOCs to live on. So when you look at even at the interest rates closer to credit card rates, HELOC loans allow FHA or VA borrowers to access their home equity at a lower overall cost than the cash out refinance loans currently being marketed by non-bank lenders. So, you know, that's just something to keep in mind. Wanted to do a broad stroke of it because some data I was looking at today. And you're seeing that. We have massive inflation. We have a current administration that no time in history, um, you don't know what's going to happen day to day. It's something new every day. And they want that chaos right now, ladies and gentlemen, that's done by design. Keep everyone on their, you know, feet to the fire. We have banks going out of business. There's a lot of other banks at risk right now. So I'm just going to tell you, you have to really research this and have a global mindset to really know what's going on, especially if you're investing right now, whether it's stocks, crypto, uh, you know, real estate, it's quite um, troubling. And you really have to be creative and think between the lines and look at all this stuff. But when I look at these little micro things and seeing these cash out refinances and I'm looking all over the United States, what's going on and people are doing the cash outs, you got to do it. HELOC might be the better way to go. Pull out a little money. If you're going to use the money smartly, and, and a lot of people, unfortunately, are strapped for cash right now, and they're going to use it to live on. They just have to do what you have to do to save your family and take care of your family. I get it. Um, but other people are not using it smartly, and this was during the pandemic, and you're seeing it now. People are pulling out cash, using it to live on, using it to buy a car, using it to go on a vacation, to keep up with the Joneses, live that high lifestyle. So right now, more than ever, it's going to get a lot worse before it gets better. A lot of both parties have been politicizing things. For political power, and it's going to hurt. It's going to hurt millionaires. It's going to hurt people low millionaires, billionaires. It's all about a realignment going on right now. So, be careful. Be safe. Have a great rest of your week.